Hello! Thank you for returning to my channel. Well, in this video, I'm going to tell you about precision and accuracy of measurements. What's the difference between precision and accuracy? Well, here, let's take, make a line. What's the length of this line? If I measure, this is say about 18 centimeters or let me do it in inches, it will be easier to explain. If I measure in inches, this is about 7 inches. Do you see? The line is about 7 inches. Is this reading accurate? Is it precise? If you notice, when I am making this measurement, the marker is very thick and the divisions on the scale are smaller. So where it ends and where it starts, a little might flow over the last sign that I checked, that is 7, from the sign, mark of 7. It may have moved a little beyond it and this here may be slightly inside the 0 mark. Another thing, the calibration on this scale may be if I'm starting from here, the measurements are right, starting right from the beginning. So there may be an error here. The temperature today is warmer. Therefore, this metal scale might have expanded a little, a very little, but that would also uh, affect the measurement. There are many factors when we are carrying out the uh, titrations in the laboratory. There are so many factors, the expansion of the flask that you're using, the measurement every time, how you use the pipette, could you really bring it to the same measurement and uh, every time you took a measurement, there are so many factors which might affect your reading. So whenever we deal with such uh, measurements, we want our measurements to be precise and we want them to be accurate. What's the difference between precision and accuracy? Precision is how close is each measurement to each other. For example, I used 15 milliliters of liquid for three consecutive titrations. And it was about 15.1, 15.2 and uh, 15 in the three measurements or 15.2 twice. So my measurements were very precise. Precise means they are very close to each other. I might even be repeating my measurements. But on the other hand, the volume of the liquid that should have been used should have been about 12 milliliters. And I am getting a reading of about 15, which means my readings may be precise, but they are not accurate. So let me just come to this. These are examples of students, three students who carry out two measurements and the, let us assume that the measurement that we want is 2 grams, 2.000 is accurate. That is the actual uh, measurement. A student A, he, his first measurement is 1.95 and the second measurement is 1.93. Both of these are very close to each other. But what is the actual reading? The actual reading is 2.00, which is, which is quite far from this. Therefore, these two measurements, the average of these two is 1.94, which is pretty precise, but not accurate. Student B carries out the measurements. The first time he gets 1.94, and the second time he gets 2.05, way beyond. 1.94 and 2.05 are the difference is so large that they are not precise. The average reading comes to 1.995. You could say that it is kind of close to accuracy, but it's not accurate. But so therefore, this reading we can say is neither accurate nor precise. The third reading, the third student carries out the readings and his readings are 2.01 and 1.99. Both are close to each other and they are also very, very close to the actual reading, which is 2.00. So the student C is both precise, precision means how close are the measurements to each other and accuracy is how close is the result to the true result. 
So this was accuracy and precision in measurements. Another thing that I wanted to show you by measuring this line was that if I try to measure with a scale, I always have a margin of error. There always has to be an error in the reading. You can never be absolutely correct in your reading. Uh, therefore, we use significant figures. Significant figures, they give you an idea of the uncertainty in the experimental or the calculated values. Significant figures are number certain terms that we use that this measurement has three significant figures, four significant figures. Let's say it is 11.2. Significant figures have, three, like this has three significant figures. In the three significant figures, two of them are absolutely correct. But the third, the last value usually is uncertain. We always have a scope of a plus minus one value for the last digit in whatever measurement we are taking. So significant figures give us an idea of the certain digits in any measurement and considering that the last digit of that measurement, whether it's after the decimal, before the decimal, whatever, it has the margin of error of plus minus one. So in the next video, we are going to study about significant figures and the rules of assigning significant figures. Thank you for watching.